accept it. Um, we can, uh, drag the bay. Don't waste the energy. All of the bodies couldn't have washed out. How did he do it? He's Hannibal Smith. That's how he does it. It would have been easy enough for him to jump clear of the van before it hit the water and then drift off with the rest of this crowd. <laughs> for a while, I thought this was going to be easy. Anything on those prints we found at the warehouse, the ones that weren't Smith's? Yeah, Daniel Running Bear. We had his prints on file through the military. He served from 66 to 68, first air cab in Vietnam. Get an address on this Running Bear. Oh, he's a computer programmer in Arizona, and he still lives on the Chequay Indian Reservation where he was born. Let's pay Mr. Running Bear a little visit. Find out what his story is. It's the easiest way up there. It's a lot more comfortable than crowding into my Land Rover. Oh, man, horses, horses. Don't you just love horses? Got one, got When I can see them. I grew up dreaming of being a cowboy and loving the cowboy way. Just take what you need from the ladies and leave them with the words of a sad country song. The heroes have always been cowboys, and they still are, it seems. Sadly, in search of one step back of himself and the slow moving dreams. I was out here one night when I first spotted Carter's men rounding up the horses. Now, where they corralled them, I have no idea. But then again, Carter has over 250,000 acres. Well, he can't sit in those Mustangs for long. You say he ships them by rail? Those railroad tracks that we passed coming out of town? Well, that's his line. He's got a locomotive, some boxcars, which he uses to move out his cattle. Now, I'm sure he takes the horses down to a slaughterhouse in Mexico, which is only a short run from here. What about your people, brother? How can he let this happen? <laughs> what about them? They're people just like anybody else. I mean, they make a living, they go about their business just like any other community. I mean, they're not going to dig out the war paint and uh, saddle up and go against uh, Carter's hacienda. Besides, the Chekawa were never a warring tribe, but they were fishermen who migrated south during the War of 1864. No kidding? Heck of a way to fish. Let me see that. Be my guess. Any more come this way, you can have them, too. Chickawa. The Chickawa were a... What? A warring tribe. Wait, wait, don't hurt him. It's a kid. Shelly, it's me. Shelly, it's me. Dad, I thought you were still in Los Angeles. I just came back. This is my nephew, Shelley. How do you do? I believe this belongs to you. What's wrong with you, kid? Find these arrows and people. Don't you know they're dangerous? They can hurt somebody real bad. Can't you find better toys to play with? That's not exactly great for 100% worsted cotton either, kid. I don't hit anything unless I want to. I happen to be county champion. I was just trying to scare you off. I thought you were Bus Carter's men. They came out here with me to help. Yeah? You're going to help us trash Carter and his men? Trash Carter? Shelley and Daniel Running Bear. I wonder what Sitting Bull would think of all this. I don't know how the rest of you feel, but I wouldn't sleep well tonight if I thought those animals were going to wind up on the sticky side of a postage stamp. Does it every time. Does that mean you'll help? You'll stop Carter? We're going to try. That means we will. Whenever Hannibal says that, means he's got a plan. Ah, 
I'm uh, going to go out to the reservation with Daniel. You know, just dig up some background. I don't know, talk to some of the elders. Maybe there's a human interest story in all of this. Yeah, it uh, looks like there sure could be. We'll check into a motel. There are a couple more things we want to get our hands on. We'll leave word where we are at the store. Okay. It's just right over here, Miss Carter. We shouldn't be taking too much longer getting these things loaded. I sure hope you don't mind. I know it was a long flight, but this was on the way back from the airport. It's no problem. Your uncle's real anxious to see you. Can you get out of the way, please? Oh, please. Well, it looks like you did learn a couple of things about how to act in front of people. That's good, because the next time... There's not going to be no next time. You got that straight. You're not stealing any more of those horses. Kid's got a crazy mouth on him, Chief. Maybe somebody ought to teach him to respect his elders. Don't you think you've done enough already? This looks like a job for the range rider. I'm going to shit this food.